These two are not just equations of accounting, but also the guiding mantra for managing companies. Mathematically speaking, these are linear equations, which means that the net response of a system of many parts is just a sum of responses of individual parts. So if we focus on managing the parts independently, we get an additive output. This conceptual approach is put formally into play by breaking down sales into product categories and territories and overall costs into various cost heads and setting budgets for each component which are then divided amongst managers as targets. Adherence to targets is used not only to manage and control but also as performance incentives. Simple, isn't it? Unfortunately, it's a little too simple and like Einstein said, Everything should be as simple as possible, but not simpler. There lies the trouble with such oversimplification. An organization is a system of connected entities working together to deliver goods to customers and earn profits. As a result, business variables in the real world are highly interdependent. An action that changes one variable could impact another variable in the chain, which might impact yet another variable, and so on eventually boomeranging back on the original action. For example, the decision to increase sales can lead to growing inventory levels, thus increasing working capital levels, which can force one to increase supplier credits, causing material delays and hence production delays, which can then finally impact sales negatively. In this non-linear world of causal loops and relationships, the linear mathematical equation is not applicable. Here a big action can result in no outcome at all, or a small action can result in a big outcome. And imposing linear models of analysis and decision making on such systems causes severe damages. Actions taken on one variable can impact other variables in the system and create operational conflicts within departments. And then, remedial measures have to be taken on the first action. Management's capacity is exhausted in managing short-term conflicts, dramatically slowing the organization's ability to deal with external opportunities and threats. This approach clearly does not work. We need a systems approach to manage a complex organization. It is a deeper understanding of causal relationships between parts. These interconnected systems look complex, but are inherently simple to manage because they always have one single leverage point for intervention. And finding this leverage point for a focused intervention is the only way to manage a complex organization.